Hey guys, welcome to Andy's Arcade and this is part number 18 of this Gauntlet Arcade Scratch build. Yes guys, on this video, this is it. This is the moment we are going to install the rest of the artwork. Yes, the two sides and the coin door artwork. We're going to do it on this video. The butterflies are kicking in. I am nervous right now. So let's get ready and let's start one of these sides. Yes guys, I've done some prep work now. I've trimmed the edges. I've got the shape. So now what we need to do is clean the sides. Well, let's start on the left hand side of the cabinet. Let's clean it with the rapid tack and let's um, place them on and let's get going on it. I have been looking forward to this. I'm really petrified at the same time, but I know we can do this. <laughs> Fingers crossed guys. Let's get ready. Let's get going. Let's do it. So guys, first things first, I think what we need to do is to take the control panel off because um, it's added weight um, and then we're going to swing the cabinet round. Um, we're going to start on the left hand side we're going to get it in position, we're going to measure it and get it all precise and then we're going to start to do it. So um, let's first of all, let's take this control panel off. Let's get out of the way. And by doing this, we need to take and unhook the four latches. Could do it this way. Yeah, I decided to do the artwork first because I want to get that on, and then we can worry about the rest of the control panel then because I know that's going to be time consuming doing the joysticks and buttons and, and all that business so I want to, I want to get the side art on. So we'll take this and we'll put it somewhere safe. Can I just say this? This. No, seriously, that control panel is really heavy. <laughs> so that's good news. Sturdy is going to be built to last. So let's swing the cabinet around now, guys. I'm just going to unplug it a minute. I'm going to start on the left hand side of the uh, cabinet. Also, I'm thinking I might have to put another fan in at the back because I've noticed that because the PC is inside. It's getting extremely hot in there and I don't really want it to burn out, so I may do another hole and put another fan in. Is that going to be enough room? Let's have a look on the camera. I've got to get a good, good position on the camera here. Um, I want to try and get it all in if I can. I'm not zoomed in, am I? No. Uh, it's the best I can do, guys. Best I can do. Ah, I'm going to take the cap, tripod back a little bit so we can get it all in. I'll zoom in as well. So, I'm just going to clean this with rapid tack now and some um, paper towels and then we're going to place the side art on, get it in position, get it as accurate as we can and then go from there. Like I said we did um, a trial run on some artwork which we got from eBay which was going on the bar top and I think that was uh, a success. I know it was laid down flat and ideally I like to lay this cabinet down on its side and do it that way but I would have to take the monitor out and the CRT TV and um, some of the PC components as well which is not tied down and I just cannot be bothered with that. 
no, we can do it this way. I know we can, and we just got to make sure it's all taped up pretty good. So um, let's go ahead and let's get this prepped up, then, guys. I will bring the camera forward as soon as we uh, get the artwork on, so you can have a, a close look. But um, here we go, then, guys. This is long-winded. Might put something on on that actually. Mm. Control power on. Don't want rapid tack in the uh, on the components, do we? Right, then. let's get some paper towels. Whew. Give them a really good, good clean. Also done some vacuuming around the uh, cabinet. Make sure the dust is uh, pretty to the minimum. This has been a long time coming guys, hasn't it? Hey, hopefully by the end of this video guys we got we got the artwork on. I think I'll do the two sides first and then do the uh, coin door. Because um, I think that one should be straightforward. He says. smell of this rapid tag. <laughs> right, okay, let's check that away. Right, let's go and get some side art. Take this back off a minute. Get some masking tape on the bar top. Let's get it all ready. So, so I have placed it on there, and um, it's just a case of where it's going to go. It's leveling it up. I think what we need to do is get some masking tape and um, let's start sticking it down into position and then finalising it on. Now I've looked at some uh, reference photos online and um, they didn't really give you much information. So we're going to have to do it how I want it. To be honest, this is a two-man job. <laughs> uh, I've had so many offers to help, but now hand is arcade selfish. Right. So I'm going to put my leg there. So how are we looking? Oh yeah, that's not too bad. 
I'll give it a, I'll give it a measure in a minute. Right, okay. So what I'm going to do now is because we don't know if the cabinet's level to the ground or anything like that. So I'm just going to measure. We got. Let me just bring the camera a minute. As you can see closely, I've trimmed it the best I can. I left a little, about a millimeter away from the actual artwork itself. So you won't see this white line. What you will see is this black, um, black border all the way around. So that's what we got to measure, the black border to the edge and try and get it consistent where we can. We're not going to get it consistent down there, but what I want, if it's say 20, centimeters here I want it 20 centimeters down the bottom and also we want this square to the edge as well we don't want it wonky donkey do we guys so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna set it up now and um, once I'm, I'm ready and then we, we can get going but whew, this is gonna be hard work <laughs> I'm looking forward to it oh oh well let's do it let's get ready Right then guys, that is the best I can do. I have measured it. Uh, <laughs> um, I've tried to get it as square as I can. But um, that is the best I can do. I can get it like the same measurement from this point to that point. And we're slightly out down here. But um, it looks about right guys. You know, um, we've cut this. Um, side panel with a saw so it might be a couple of mil um, out or something's not quite right it's not the original cabinet so um, it is what it is I'm happy with that positioning so let's uh, maybe I'm getting too too stupid about this now but I've looked online as well and we're, we're sort of out right so it's the best we can do guys so we're gonna stick this down now so let's get going on it. What do you think? <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Right, guys, we're going to start at the top. Um, we're going to just take the masking tape off now, put rapid tack on, and we're going to do this first half, and then we're going to work our way up. And once that's stuck down, then we'll do the bottom section. And um, once it's on, let's get this protective stuff off. So this is it guys, this is it, no room for error, so let's get and fold this down then, let's take this masking tape off now, I'm going to use this one with the cloth because on the um, trial run we sort of, um, we scratched the uh, artwork, you couldn't see it but in, in the right light you could so we don't want to be doing that, so enough masking tape on there. Hopefully, oh, here we go, there it goes. <laughs> I'll just give it another clean a minute. Better put the um, better put our uh, air in it before we start squirting mad at it. Just give it another clean. You would not believe. How nervous I am right now. <sighs> right, so we've got scissors, rapid tack, so squirt some rapid tack on there now. <sighs> Gonna 
peel this off if I can. So I've got to come up with task. <laughs> says Do the other one yet? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay, so looking at the light is to see if um, I can see any air bubbles. I can't see any because this is air release vinyl, so technically, we should be able to get all the creases and the bubbles out. Okay, right, let's do the bottom section then. Guys, I hope this is alright. say thanks to everyone who's actually pointed me in the right direction so I really appreciate it guys I'm going to pull this back rapid tack time that you can see guys We need to find the find the edge 
and slowly start peeling it off a little bit at a time. It's quite hard to, to do. It and then I'll put pressure on it in a minute. masking or air in the artwork we'll find out when I start taking the masking off that's, oh yeah look at that that's, that's brilliant it's coming out <laughs> guys can see what I'm doing. <laughs> Sack on. Right, let's go back over and just make sure. What do you think so far, guys? Am I doing all right? Thumbs up. I'm sweating. Should I be using the cloth or should I be using the other side? I just, uh, I don't know. Any time I tell I start taking it off, I suppose. Some air in there, that. I 
I don't know if that's in the uh, artwork or the, the masking. Only time will tell, guys, if I don't, alright. Oh, there's a big, big one here. Smell bottles in this, guys. Not so much up here. But I don't know if that's the mask on here or the artwork. Only time will tell. So I think we need to. It says here now we need to wait a couple of minutes. Um, allow ten minutes before removing transfer tape. Um, Hold on, wait 90 seconds, then spray transfer tape and re squeegee. Okay, we we'll do two minutes and then um and then we'll uh we'll get this off guys. So give me a couple of minutes and we'll get back to us. Well right, guys, let's um let's sort of um let's get a camera in position a minute. We're gonna Put rapid tack all over the um, artwork now, and then we start peeling it off. So we need to screw it again, and then squeeze it in, and then start peeling it off 45 degrees. It in, I suppose. I love the smell of this rapid tack, I'm going tell you. You hear that, guys? That's Trap's air bubble. I just got rid of. Right. Let's see if we can take this off then, guys. Fingers crossed, eh? Five degrees. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Nice and steady. Nice and steady. And then we can go back over it with a cloth and, and all that business.
It's looking good, kid. It's looking good. Looking good, good kids. <laughs> We're getting to walk. I'm so excited. Steady, Eddie. You've seen this, guys. You've seen this. People just yank this off, or do they go steady? Just going over it if I see any um, bubbles or anything like that. I will check it again, guys. I'll be steady on this bit. Oh, it looks absolutely incredible, guys. You know what? I'm not really paying attention to the artwork at the moment. This is gonna be. I'm gonna get this off. It's looking lovely, guys. It's, I'm actually speechless at the moment. You know when you're getting a, a little bit impatient, you just want to rip it off. <laughs> That's me right now. I can do this little one. Just a little ding there on the paint mark. And if you can see, guys, How's it looking? How's it looking, guys? Did I do all right? <laughs> I wouldn't say that's exactly forty five, but uh. and steady
racing at the moment. <laughs> it's off. Oh. Right now, let's have a little look. Little crease there. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful, guys. It's absolutely stunning. Oh, my gosh. Thing with the garage, I got natural light so I can see any air bubbles and I can get them out. This rapid tack is actually helping at this stage, and I can just say this armor is absolutely beautiful. I haven't really paid much attention to it at the moment because I'm more concerned about getting these bubbles out if there is any. natural light. I can't see any out of the top. Got to make sure these edges are nice and flush. A bit more pressure on the edges. Beautiful. I can't feel any. Just getting some man. Um, sorry guys. Just just getting just going around the edges now and making sure that they're nice and flush and just getting some of the creases out. And the rapid tap, so it's all out. Right, I'm going to carry on doing this guys and then um, we can have a, a close inspection of it. Well guys, let's, let's take a look at it now and um, I'll give you a really close inspection. We've got some natural light as well um, on this so let's take a close look and see what you think about the detail in this artwork. I think it's absolutely stunning. I haven't really uh, processed it all at the moment guys but it's absolutely beautiful. The detail is incredible. Now I wish I had a time machine to go back in time and actually <laughs> see a Gourmet Arcade cabinet, an original one and um, I never, I never really even though I, I seen the artwork on the cabinets, I didn't really pay much attention to it, so I kick myself for that really. But uh, let's have a look on the natural light of things. 
beautiful. All right, let's have a little look from um, a distance. And I think that's incredible, guys. So now, before I do this, the other side, I think I'm going to have to make myself a cup of tea with all this excitement. I just can't, um, I just can't, uh, <laughs> I can't get on and do the other side without a cup of tea. So guys, yes, one side done, one to go. Well guys, I've just turned the cabinet around and we're ready to do side two, um, which is our right hand side. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, place the artwork on. I'll probably then um, squeeze it in and, and stick it all down. And then um, we're, we'll probably go back and um, you'll see me taking the um, protective film off. Um, just thinking what is actually called this uh, transfer. What the transfer, um, the transfer tape. So we're going to take the transfer tape off. So you'll probably, um, there's no point be filming it again because you've, you've seen me do it, do it once so I'm not going to bore you. But we will do the transfer tape together, I promise. So join me then. See you in a minute. Well right, guys, we're all um, ready to go on this, um, the second side. I've got it in um, roughly the, the right um, place, give or take a couple of mil, but um, we're ready. So um, join me in a mo. Right, guys, we're ready to uh, take this transfer tape off now. So we're going to use um, Rapid Tack again. Um, I highly recommend you using this if you've never ever done anything like this. It's more forgiving. And I'll tell you what, if it weren't for this, you could make mistakes. Because <laughs> I had a few creases in this one and it seemed it, it, it came out alright. Um, whether it is the wet method, I don't know, or the vinyl, I don't know. So anyway, let's go ahead and do it. It's been about a few minutes now. So let's pump it right on. And let's squeeze it in. I take it this is just to wet the transfer tape to make it come off easy. So. Fingers crossed. There is some air bubbles in this, whether it's the transfer tape, I don't know. do it. Let's get this closer so you can see what we're doing. Let's start up here. All right. So again 45 degrees nice and steady again. If I see any air bubbles or creases I'll get them out as I go along. They highly recommend trying to put it on an angle like this, 45 and away from you. No, I don't know why that is. <laughs> Anyone know? Leave a comment below. I'll leave a link in the description where I got this artwork from. This old game from America, good old United States. <sighs> Sorry guys, I was so involved getting it off then. <laughs> I've sort of lost my 45 a little bit, haven't I? <laughs> Take this bit off here. I could 
did last time. Squeegee. I'll tell you what, with this rapid tack on, I reckon it takes a good 24 hours for it to completely dry. So, so you've got plenty of time to get any air bubbles or creases out. That's my um, understanding anyway. Trying to get a good camera shot, guys. Like I said earlier, got some good natural light in this garage, and. Um, be able to see any uh, creases or bubbles. Well, it's been a long time coming, guys, hasn't it? Through this. Uh, Crease there. I wonder if I can get that. I've got a little crease there. Okay. crease there in the artwork. Nothing I've done. Hmm. I don't want to start peeling it off. Have a look. This is a shame, really, but uh, we look closely here. There's a slight crease in there. Now, I've tried to get this out and it's not coming out for love of money, but I'm gonna have to, I think I'm gonna have to live with that because if I try and start peeling it off in the corner, I could ruin it, and there's no way. I'm going to ruin that and I, I think that looks fantastic guys. I'm going to just go around now and um, I'm going to bite past that little bit in the corner. I'm just going to try and just go over it again to see if there's any more air bubbles in a minute. Well guys that's the second side done and we are now complete on both sides. 
Um, very happy at the moment, it's looking great. Um, apart from that little crease that in the bottom here, um, if anyone knows how to get that out, then um, just let me know. But I'm not going to peel this corner off and try and do it. There's no way because I could potentially damage this section, and there's no way it, I can live with that. It's not bad for my first attempt, guys, is it? To be fair, um, I'm happy. <laughs> and uh, so let's swing the cabinet back round now um, because we're going to do the front and we're going to do the coin, coin door. Um, uh, graphics now um, to get this last piece on and then we are complete on the artwork and all that leaves is the uh, joysticks and buttons and having the play test so yeah we're nearly there guys we are nearly there so let me put the camera back on the tripod and let's swing the cabinet back round and and this let's get going on it Right guys, before we uh, get going and, and putting this um, coin door um, artwork on, I just want to know, this to me looks a little bit small, so I'm just going to measure it and I want you guys with an arcade, gauntlet arcade machine to tell me um, if it's the right size or not. So I'm going to just quickly measure it now and it measures at, we do it in inches, or whatever is closest. Um, well, we do millimeters actually, or centimeters. It's 54 centimeters, or 540 millimeters, um, by um, 100, just over 150 millimeters, or just over 15 centimeters. Now, if I can show you a picture, it this. Um, this looks a little bit bigger than the one I've got, but it is what it is. It's going on today. I'm quite pleased with the quality of it. So, um, yeah, it just looks a little bit too small. And I'll, I'll show you in a moment. So, if I hold him up to roughly where it's going, um, it's sort of in line with that, to be honest. Um, that centre point there is going to be the centre of of the two coin doors and um, does that look a little bit um, smaller than the original or does it look around about the same size because my on, on the photos it looks like it's more up there but I might I might be wrong so what we're gonna do we're gonna get the center point and we're gonna get the same measurement from here and to here so it's gonna be like that more or less so that's my plan of attack. So let's get in, um, let's get it ready. So again, we're gonna have to clean this. There's rip attack. Wipe it over. No, I must just do the whole lot to be honest. <laughs> Get the front nice clean. So it's my machine, I'm going to put this wherever, wherever I want. <laughs> so, let me just line it up, let me just um, put it on and uh, go from there. Right then guys, I've just put the um, control panel back on just to see how it looks and see um, if it's in the right location. Um, I think it looks okay there, I'm standing up from that point of view, it looks great. Um, I basically ran a centre point from A to B, the centre point of the coin doors, and I've got the centre point here, um, so that's all lining up nice and square with the same measurement of these two points and 
the two points up there and also here as well so I'm happy with the position whether we need to come down a bit but I, I don't think we are I'll just go center um, and that's it guys this this go ahead and just get this on Do it. The final piece of the jigsaw. So again, I'm gonna use the wet method on this, and I'll do the this half first, and then go from there. So let's get our scissors. Let's take the um, control panel back off a minute, guys. I reckon I could do this dry, but we're not going to. Um, so we'll just do a little bit of a squirt there. This is a different type of um, sticker. Roll. This is it, guys. This is it. Stuff. It's a lot of stress for it. <laughs> Doing your own arcade cabinet. <laughs> uh, it's been a long time, you guys. It's been over a year now. But no rush. So <laughs> glad I did this one last. <laughs> uh.
sets it off nice guys done it eh? Look at it. Oh, so glad it's on now. I can concentrate now on the control panel. Getting that up and running. It lasts for another day. I think that is it guys. Beautiful. Uh, a few scratches on this cabinet now. Eh? Oh, I just need another one. <laughs> oh dear. That gives it that old fashioned look now, doesn't it? <laughs> right. Okay. It's done. Hey, <laughs> it's finally done. Oh, let's take a closer look. There you go, guys. The coin door ones are in. The artwork on the side's done. Now I'm just going to be. Just I'll just put the control panel back in now. Back on. Sorry. Um. It's been a long day, it's taken me about three hours, four hours this has. Um, yeah, let's put the coin, uh, the coin, see what I can't even talk now. Let's put the control panel back on and let's take a look at all the artwork on this cabinet. Well guys, I couldn't resist, I had to turn on the PC to boot up Gauntlet and um, it is getting there now guys, <laughs> I'm so, so chuffed um, with all the artwork on, cabinets now put back into um, the position, I need to just put it back a little bit further than this, but I still need to work on, on the joysticks and buttons, um, which will be the next video, but what do you think guys, please, please, please leave a comment below, because did I do all right? Except for that little crease down the bottom in that corner, but I can't even see it. Can you see it? <laughs> but look at that, guys. Is it looking like a gauntlet arcade machine now? Oh, I'm so chuffed right now. <laughs> oh, look at it. It looks fantastic. The artwork is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Vibrant colours. I would definitely, definitely highly recommend... Um, buying this um, artwork from um, this old game um, it's fantastic guys absolutely fantastic i just turn the light off a minute just doing some close ups Ooh, I am getting there, guys. On this, when I get in there, and it's the, the, I gotta get, I gotta get in the film next to my gauntlet cabinet because I'm so proud. Look at this, look at this, eh? <laughs> oh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it right now. Look at a smile. <laughs> but let's uh, let's end the video, guys, because it's been long-winded, and um, I'm just so tired now. Um, so I'm gonna leave on this note so please please subscribe hold on <laughs> now it's a gauntlet arcade machine <laughs> gotta get the joysticks and buttons in but guys, please, please leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts on how I got on. And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that business, guys. So, been long-winded. 
but we got there. So please, please, please leave a comment below because I, I really want to know if I did a good job. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next part. Take care. Bye-bye.